Welcome back to Geronimo's Kitchen. All right, so great. Today we're making a classical Jamaican brown stew chicken, right? So this is Geronimo's take on a Jamaican brown stewed chicken. The spicy, nice, semi-sweet. All right, so we're not even going to hit on it. Today I'm having this, um, it's the last of my beers from New York. It's a Bobcat Pilsner. Oh, that's good. All right, so quickly to our ingredients. On our spice plate, we have some garlic salt, some all-purpose. What is a stew chicken without a little brown sugar? So that's the sugar there, some onion powder. This is pimento, allspice berries, some dried rosemary. Then we have black pepper and just my touch to my brown stew chicken, just a little dried basil. Delicious. That's going to make a very, very big difference in this brown stew chicken. Of course, we have some soya sauce here. Then some ketchup. The ketchup is optional. I'm not a very big fan of ketchup, but I, I find that in this recipe, it's, it will add a different level of uh, tiny sweetness. All right, so we'll add some ketchup. And then we have some browning just for color. And of course, here I have some pica pepper sauce on our vegetable and aromatic plate we got carrot we got a and just a medium onion a uh, three pegs of garlic of course scotch bonnet pepper some thyme and scallion and that is all she wrote that's all she wrote so quickly and we're just prepping now we're going to leave this to marinate just for maybe about a couple of hours until we are ready for it later on in the evening we're going to go ahead and stew it up so we have some chicken which I've already cleaned with water and some vinegar for this recipe we're leaving the skin on alright so we're just cutting our chicken into little cubes right we just want to cut them in little cubes that's what we use for same way we cut up our chicken for the uh, what was that curry chicken we're going to go ahead and don't do what I do guys at home you can do what you want to do right if you want to go ahead to the supermarket and buy pre-packaged <laughs> cut up chicken that is fine as I say I'm leaving the skin on just for an additional juiciness of course you do you if you want to go and take off the skin that is also fine that's, that's all up to you I'm just cutting this into chunks chicken chunks yeah and tell me, you see, for me, I prefer to use mostly the, the uh, part of the chicken that has the leg and thigh, the dark meat, because that doesn't dry out so fast. But follow my recipe, I promise you. If you follow this recipe, I promise you, your chicken not going to be dry and trashy. Your chicken is still going to be very juicy and nice. This thing giving me a fighting. My, my, look at that. All right, many people throw away the tip of the chicken, not me. It's going in, right? So we got that off. All right, you know what me do? Let me get my marinating pan here. We just want to take these out and throw them in, right? Throw them in. Get that out. Let's continue. My my. All right, so this is just the last of it. We're just gonna throw that in. Let's get our cutting board and our plate to the sink where we get our rings on our hand here. And remember with chicken guys, you have to be really, really careful with chicken. Really, really careful. We don't want any salmonella poisoning around here. So let's dry our hands right, right over there. And then we're just going to start the seasoning process so like here actually you know what let me just go ahead and finish chopping up everything before we combine all right so let's put some scallions what they call Greek onions mm -hmm. let's chop this well turn fancy no matter pretty really fancy cuts remember all of this just going to cook away for the nice earthy floral note of the onions etc we're just going to add this straight in straight into the bowl right get our scallions in. 
Then of course our garlic, watch, bam, just going, go, bam, bam, get them together, just chop them, chop them off, right? Yes, rust like so. Mm -hmm. Chop them up, chop them up, chop them, chop them up, chop them up right in our bowl, just like so. Then we're going to go right in with our thyme. Then we have a scotch body pepper here. We're just going to cut off the cheeks. All right, let's get the cheeks off. And if you guys cook, you know that just about now my eyes are burning. That's that. Scallion that just chop right in with that. The scallion that just chop is giving me a fire. All right, so let's clean our knife off, ensure that everything is in. Put our board back there, right? Put our knife back there too. And then, there you have it. We're going to add our, let's add our dry ingredients. Right in, beautiful. Add our soya sauce in as well. Our ketchup, just a little. This is about a tablespoon of ketchup. Then our browning for color. Mm -hmm. Then our pickled pepper sauce. And all you guys out there, you, what you can do, you can trade out your pickled pepper sauce with Worcestershire. Uh, you can go with a teriyaki. I think I've done sushi with teriyaki before. Then we're going to use God's tongues. And we just want to go and massage that meat. You know? Massage the flavors into the meat. Just like so. Right, right, so. Yeah, man, it's butter stew chicken on right in Geronimo's kitchen. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So that's all seasoned up and ready. All right, guys, so we are done seasoning up. There you go, look at it, nice and beautiful. We're just going to cover this for a couple hours, just about maybe three hours, put it in the fridge until we're ready for dinner. We're going to come back. <laughs> My kettle is on, I don't know that girl, not being here. Come back at about three hours and we're going to cook this Jamaican brown stew chicken, dry most kitchen. We're going to deal with it, leaving this for three hours. All right, take care. Wow. All right, so we've been waiting for some hours now. Our chicken is perfectly marinated. It's now night outside, you know, so it's a lot. It's been going for a while. You can smell all it. I think everything is now infused into the meat. We have our cast iron skillet on and we're going to do our cooking in. In the meantime, while that oil is heating up, we're just going to prep these that we have on the counter. We have some carrots. We're just going to get out some nice little cuts there. Nice little cuts on the carrot, you know, before we get it in. All right, so we have that all chopped up. Then we're going to chop half of an onion, right? So let's just go with half of an onion. I want to chop that up. You know, we want to chop that up. Chop it up, chop it up. All right, there we go. So we have our onion and our carrots. They're going, and then we want to take two of these cheeks off this bell pepper. Let's go with two cheeks. All right, and then we're just gonna julienne those babies, right? Just julienne those babies for the stewed chicken. So it's battle brown stew, Jamaican brown stew chicken on here in Geronimo's kitchen. Earlier, you remember we seasoned it up with our scotch bonnet, pepper, our scallion, our herbs and spices, thyme and everything is in. Now it's time for the cooking. So we are just heating our oil up, prepping our veggies here on the board, getting ready to do this. Right, so the oil, yeah, I think it's heating up. It's not quite there yet. Remember, there you go. Oh, this looks nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's test the oil to see if it's ready. You want that oil to be ready you know, if you look at the sizzle. This is how you tell it your oil is ready. You can see the sizzling around, and that is what we are going for. All right, brown stew chicken. So we're just gonna go right in with our meat. Wow, 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 wow. All right, and what we want to do is that we want to cook this right. 
just for a couple of minutes until the skin part gets a nice little caramelization on it. Oh god, look at that. You can see, look here. Sioux chicken is such a nice hearty meal. You can smell all the flavors, all the herbs, the sweetness of the of the um the pickup pepper sauce and the ketchup mixed with the soya sauce and you know it just smells so nice. This is the part where you can just you can smell all the flavors coming together. So we're just going to saute this a bit just so we can get a nice little crust on it. Then we're going to go in with our veggies, add a little hot water. Matter of fact, it's just you got a secret. Get a little hot water in the basin here. You don't want too much water. That we this is the base that we use to to season and marinate our thing. Just clean the bowl. Yes, you must have basin. Whoops, there. Yeah. Spray all over the place. Just clean that bowl with the uh, with some hot water, and then when we're done, we're going to pour that baby right on over our stew chicken. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah. Getting it. Look here, and friends, we're not going to cook this forever. I know some people want to cook stew chicken for two hours. When they've done the meat, mash out and on the use again. Not in the animal's kitchen. What I want you to do as well is tell me what you eat with your stew chicken. Is it boiled dumpling and yams and banana and so Apart from doing that, but right on the back burner there I did some nice shelly white rice. Oh, and stew chicken guys is that thing we Jamaican people eat at any time of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything. We use it for anything, any time of the day. Stew chicken and banana for breakfast. Right, caramelization. See there? Caramelization. That's what we're going for. It almost looks like it cooked already. Eh? Take a look at it. It almost looks like it cooked already. But that's the key to a nice um, stew chicken, brown stew chicken. You want the caramelization before. Come in and show them. Look, I want you to right in. You can see the caramelization on the meat. Caramelization on the meat. All right, so now that we got that all caramelized and done, we're going to go in straight in with our veggies, right on over. All right, there you have it. There you have it. The veggies are in. We're going to work the veggies in because there's spring water. In the pot, in the pot, in the pot. Work the veggies right in so that the flavors of the onions and the peppers and everything start to infuse in the stew chicken. Oh Lord, look at that. Oh Lordy, Lordy. Jamaican stew chicken, man. Nothing complicated. Then we're going to take our water right now, and we're going to add it in. We're going to add that baby in right, just like so. Just like so. See here? And you see, I want you to realize as well how even after I pour the water in, there is no, the, the, the meat hasn't changed color. It's not white. And that's because we already got a caramelization on it. So the meat has already taken its color. Many people just put it in, throw it around, pour water on top of it. Nah, the meat becomes white. The skin, when it's cooked, is still white, even though you have your brown and stuff. So we're going to cover this now, and then we're going to leave it to simmer. We're leaving that to simmer just for about 15 minutes. We'll check it periodically, turn it around and so until the sauce starts to thicken and reduce into a nice gravy. And then we're going to taste it, make sure that seasoning is on point, and then we're going to take it, put it on a plate, and we're going to have it with some nice white rice. Geronimo's kitchen, butter stew chicken. Chef Geronimo is on top, watch me. All right, so this has been simmering. I've been opening it really. I'm just stirring around. That gravy is thickening up pretty nicely. Oh my lord. Yes. You know, sometimes, look here. This uh, gravy uh, thicken naturally. See there? Naturally. But guess what? Don't be afraid, guys. If your gravy long, it's because you put too much water into it. Right? It's going to make that simmer for another couple of minutes. If your gravy long like um, tea, 
is because you put too much water into it and you may need to remove some or allow it to boil down or don't be afraid to mix up with cornstarch and pour it in it in the gravy nothing wrong with it, I mean nobody tell you nothing and if you want to thick add it to flour and water as I say some people do feel free to do it, that is up to you but the secret to this nice little sauce that you see I have here is ensure that you don't put too much water too much Oh Jesus, the promised you chicken, the promised you chicken, sir. Smell the stew chicken, smell the stew chicken out of Geronimo's kitchen. Eh? Smell the stew chicken out of Geronimo's kitchen with the pimento and the pepper. Hmm? You could have also pour a little, put a little, you more pour, put a little piece of ginger in it. I think, let's taste it. My gosh, I keep opening it. Let's taste it. But this is done now, this is good to go. Mm hmm. Gosh, just like oh gosh, the salt and that that little sugar that I added. Oh lox. Oh yes. Uh -huh. Alright, let me shut this off. Battle stew chicken is over. We are done with our stew chicken. Oh lord. Let's get the sauce. You see I chopped some parsley and I put it on it. Oh lord, see there. It's a final version of this nice Jamaican stew chicken. Oh gosh, I need to taste this, man. Because you know what I say now? The proof of the pudding is into the eating. Let's go in for a nice little... Oh, Lord. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice tender juice meat with the nice sweetness and saltiness of the soy and everything, the pepper coming together beautifully. It's brown stew chicken from Geronimo's Kitchen to your kitchen, to your screens, to your homes. Remember to like, subscribe to my channel, comment in the section below, turn on the notification bell and share this with all other friends. Geronimo's Kitchen, big up! Yeah!